We're here at Rocky Falls in near Winona, Missouri. Um, it's kind of like a shut-ins type thing. The big waterfall that comes down. Rapids. Uh, it's called Rocky Creek. It either goes into the Jack's Fork or the Current River, one or two. Earlier I thought this was the Jack's Fork, but it's not. It doesn't really have any fish and it's really small below here. And I discovered it wasn't the Jack's Fork. So, kind of quit fishing here. I don't know if people are going up this one or this one. This one might be not as bad. That one's probably got a climb. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm just going to film a little bit right here. This is where we should have brought the fishing poles. Here we go this way. No, a cold probably. <laughs> no, I never had actually tried it. I was just kind of fooling around. Figured I'd never know. I think there's just small ones in here. She caught a little sunfish and that was it. What you see, what I'm talking about is right around that corner. Right around that corner. Right around that Almost like steps. Yeah. Almost.
Oh, man, it's gonna wear a person out quick. Oh my goodness. Oh. A little tiny creek is all it is. All right, and that ends the. It's like the very end of it here. It'd be quicker to go that back down this way be quicker to go back down this way. <laughs> Wonder if anybody's ever kayaked this. <laughs> I'd have to walk all the way around. Then I'd have to walk all the way around. Yeah, I could do this. I could walk across it if I wanted to. You go that way, I'll go this way.
because I wanted to get good film of it. We are here at Alley Spring, uh, which goes into the Jack's Fork River. Uh, I'm hoping to get some pickerel here. It's one of the largest springs there is. Um, one million gallons per day come out of it. This is just the little, this is the overflow from it. It starts out as a, as a lake coming out of the ground. This is just the overflow from it. And it's just like a quarter of a mile long or so and then goes into the Jack's Fork River. It's also got a mill that they still use once in a while. Um, the water comes out of the mill and behind the mill is the actual spring itself. Um, and then you got the Jack's Fork River right down that road. It, unfortunately, it's too high to fish today because we had a real heavy rain. This is my first time here and we're gonna check out this spring. It looks very promising for pickerel. It's got a lot of vegetation and stuff. Huh? Why can't it be in here? You could have, yeah. It's okay, I don't mind walking. It's nice. At least it ain't hot. <laughs> See, the spring comes, it goes around the corner. Security. get behind here oh it is it is it did get affected by the rain it's muddy it's usually blue that's not good the pictures show it blue it's really muddy I guess the rain did that We probably won't catch nothing right here. Yeah, we want to go behind here. I have a feeling the rain messed it up though. That's usually really blue. I, I thought since it'd be a spring that it, the rain wouldn't really have messed it up, but figure how big this hill is and it's all clay that made the water muddy. Yeah, it's muddy back here too, darn really muddy yeah there's definitely pickerel in here would be probably won't get any today it's too it's gonna be really muddy yeah we have to find the calm water 81 million gallons oh my gosh 81 million gallons a day We'll have to come back here when it's way down to. 
Mm-hmm. It's just too, it's just too high. Or too muddy, I mean. This is not gonna be a good day. Not good day for it. <laughs> See, you can't, yeah, it does go all the way around. It's just so muddy, you can't tell where the plants are at to fish. It has a lot of weeds in the water, you just can't see them. Nah, just a bad day. We had way too much rain, I guess. You seen the pictures, it's blue. Pretty neat. You got better luck than me. You got a spinner on there at least. I don't know if it's worth me changing though. It just don't look, I can't tell where to fish. I can't tell where it's deep and shallow. And I guarantee there is pickerel in here though. Yeah, it's too hard to fish right now. Oh, I got one! Yeah! Yes! Pickerel, what did I just tell you? What did I, oh, oh yeah! Woohoo! I got this on film, baby, woo! The pickerel are in here! My gut feeling had a gut feeling correctness. Oh yeah! What did I tell you, baby? He's about, what, 16, about 16 inches. I can measure it. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's measure okay. him. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, we know now. And we got the river we can fish. We got to come back here. We got two spots. <laughs> the river above the spring, and then we got this. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. He is. 16 inches. Is that exactly 16? Yep. Not my record yet. 20 would be my record. So they're in here. Well, now we know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. They are some fighters, too. Oh, he. Look how bad he swallowed that way down in there. Oh, I'm going to have to get the pliers out for sure yep he's a plier fish wow good god he really inhaled that thing that's not bad size though then once we were getting the last week they were all like nine inches they're too bony yeah you can keep it but I keep it in. I keep the I've got nothing to keep it on. Huh? I don't have nothing to keep it with in. I don't even got a stringer with me. Well, I don't have nothing. I don't want to carry this all the way back to the car. Well, I didn't fish too long and got one. Hey, now I'm kind of pumped up. I'll bring the stringer next time. Now I know they're in here, we'll start keeping them. They are one of the better meats. It's just, you got they got a lot of bone that you got to go through to get to it. But they are you know, supposedly one of the best tasting. No, I don't have nothing to keep it in. All right, bye, Mr. Pickerel. Pickerel, Pickerel. Cool, huh? Caught him right there. Let it sink. You gotta kind of let it sink down a lot here. It's deep. This water's deep. You want it to. You want it to pull through the weeds. 
you'll feel it pulling through it, but you won't get hung up on it. And then usually that's how you get your strikes though, is they'll see that flash from the spinner pulling through the weeds and they'll dart out and go after it. Uh, the spring there, uh, gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. And uh, this is the actual Jack's Fork River. The actual main river itself is still a little dingy from the heavy rain we had a few days ago, but there's a little side channel here that's still clear as a bell water's all green and uh looks excellent over here there's a few spots actually honestly it's hard to get down to without going through some weeds but i may have to this looks really good wow oh my goodness it's deep wow If I get a fish, I'm screwed from way up here. Well, what I can do about that? Lure messed up anyway. This is this river. It's actually not near as muddy here as it was down at Eminence. It's actually cleared up up here. See, this river. It gets a lot bigger once that spring goes in down there. It, Wow, that's a big side channel. Look at that, it's like a lake. Super deep too. Ooh, there is, look. That's where the pickerel would be right here. I don't know where we can get down. I don't see nothing yet, but man, I'm definitely coming back here. We can wait. Look how easy this river is to walk. And it's it's just flat on the side. See the gravel, no hill, no steep hills. This looks excellent. This is definitely goggle eye and smallmouth heaven right here. I'll try. Uh, stupid if I get one, but so far. <laughs> it can't be very big, it'll break my line. I'm trying to lift it up. Honey, I gotta see this one. What do you mean? I gotta put in the hole. Oh, great. Because of the other line that's in it, you mean? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Actually, see how, look how clear it is here. It's the spring making the river muddy. Because mm -hmm. the spring is muddy as can be. Now you can. I pick it up now. I cannot put on the hole. Yeah, you can. I had this on earlier. It's just the side of the river. Mm -hmm. This river is excellent. Look at all the gravel everywhere. Yeah. And it's high, It's but wait till it goes down a little bit. But you can still walk all along the sides. It's, but you need it's, to swim. <laughs> no, course. not really. It's easy to walk. Yes, it's kind That's of tough. That's deep, side by side. We can rent the canoe here, though, too. Mm -hmm. It's just crowded I'd rather be away from people yeah. this river's easy to walk mm -hmm. mostly over there really sunny over there I'm sorry I'll, f I'll look for the other access point on the computer it looks good though Look how clear it is above the spring. Yep, that's, that's a bass. Big. That's a bass. Nah, it's just a pound or so. We don't have nowhere to get down, do we? I want to get down there. It's too hard though.
Yeah, it's clear as a bell up here. Wow. Yeah, you almost have to float this in a canoe to get... There's where the spring goes in right there, making it muddy. I'm seeing if we go over here, if we can get a... There's any good holes. It don't look real bad behind the bridge pier. Nothing, nothing amazing, but might hold one or two fish. Nah, not really. You have to get down on that side somewhere. That may not be deep enough. This is just a little side channel. Right where that comes in, it might be though. Might be a couple more feet deep over here. Yeah, see over there, there's a little, couple deep spots. See, this is what like I'm talking about. Right here, it'd be easy. It's heck to walk this river going up the river because you can just cross any, anywhere it's shallow. Yeah, I like this. This one. Oh, it's actually pretty deep right through here. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta get over there. You should see that over here. You should see the other side. I don't know how deep that is though. Oh no, that don't bother me. It's how deep it is. But look at the other side. Man. Nah. I know, but look at that. I'm just checking in. I'm, I'm probably not gonna do it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I knew when to say when, but I can go right here and hit the, hit the back part of it. That is a, man, that's a good looking hole. That looks good. I'm gonna try to see if I can hit part of it from over here, I doubt it. Maybe too far to cast. Yeah, I can hit part of it a little tiny bit. We gotta float this one this year.
can't quite hit it. Yeah, and you almost have to have a canoe, don't you? <sighs> yeah, you gotta have a canoe here. You gotta have a canoe with a, and get out all the time. Every hole you just stop. Like that, I could probably sit over there and fish for hours. Like a big old pond almost. Man. Funny. <laughs> yeah, it's too swift here. Your only hope is right here, this little eddy. Anywhere the water goes back or it gets calm. It looks pretty swift over there too. But it might have a little, little honey hole in it. Oh. 